Hey friends, David here. We got a tip that there has been dragon sightings around here recently. Have you seen anything, John? Um, nothing there. Maybe we've got to go further. Well, let's get into it then. Welcome to Waldorf Patch 5.0 Bright Heights. Syndra, the Dark Sovereign, comes rolling to the rift with her Dark Spheres, ready to overwhelm her opponents with transcendent power. Syndra is a long-range burst mage who is adept at controlling fights from afar and at the drop of the hat, obliterate her opponents with unleashed power. Sharpen your knives because the next rift recruit likes his weapons well honed. Talon, the blade's shadow, will quietly slash through your enemies before they even notice them. Use power to send out a volley of daggers or to finish off their opponents with a ring of blades. They better watch out because there is no knowing when this assassin will sneak up and send you back to your fountain. It only feels right that our final champion is Runeterra's Harbringer of Death. Kindred, the eternal hunters, chase down their enemies with their dance of arrows. For Lamb's quick bow and Wolf's ferocious bite, they will deliver you from the mortal realm faster than you can scream murder. Oh my god, oh my god, there's John! Did you see that? It's a dragon! Hang on, I know who that is. Aurelius Soul, my man. And of course, you are here for the rework. With a completely new set of skills and a powerful passive, Aesol will be able to properly scale into the Star Destroyer that he's meant to be. Gragas might look rough and ready on the outside. And don't get me wrong, he is. But behind the belly, beard, and barrel lies a delicate soul. And who are we to deny him a smoother gameplay? Almost as smooth as the ale that he's always drinking. Yumi loves her friends and lives to help them. We think she deserves to be one of the best supports for new players. And we're not doing her justice quite yet. We have tweaked some of her abilities and improved the consistency of how she's able to support her laners, whether she's alone or along for the ride. To be a great Monkey King, you gotta constantly train both body and mind. Increasing his physical prowess, Wukong is able to sustain and stick around and fight for longer. And in terms of the mind, our Monkey King is now even more devilish by improving his clones. They can now mirror his Nimba Strike to overwhelm his opponents. Look for our upcoming patch notes and learn even more about these reworks. Top laners often feel isolated from the rest of the map and are locked into their one-on-one -on -one duels. To give them more opportunities for outplays, we've added an alcove to the lane. This additional playground gives you the possibility to avoid vision and coordinate with your jungler on new gank strategies. The hostile item has been a big hit with ultimate spellbook event players, so we've decided to add it to the rift as well. Now you can work towards massive health pools in every game. We've also got some brand new items in store. Titanic Hydra helping you splash damage across multiple opponents and Spear of Children, giving you the awakening dragon effect after you cast your ultimate, improving your move speed and accelerating your ongoing ability cooldowns. To top it all off, we'll be adjusting some existing items. So check out the new patch notes for more info. Focusing on winning your own lane in the early stage of the game is usually a solid strategy. However, we also know that when you leave to help your teammates or take another objective, those past key siege minions can make it tough to get your own lane back under control. So to take pressure off, we've replaced the periodic siege minions with new slightly weaker minions, and in this way, you can gain recall for support your teammates to your heart's desire. When releasing the Rift Herald, there are always a lot of things to consider where the enemy minions are, which lane you should pick, and so on. So we've decided to make things a bit more straightforward. Instead of attacking the closest minions, the Herald will now go straight for the enemy turret. This way, you have a guaranteed advantage no matter where and when you release her. To highlight this, we've also added an effect to the minimap so you can see which target the Herald will hit next. Adding new game modes is as exciting for us as it is for you. We get to experience what works, what doesn't, then improve it. So thank you to everyone who has tried the arena in our last patch update. You've given us some valuable feedback 
to make Arena even more enticing. With this change comes 20. Yes, 20 New Year's Dragon themed augments to help you fly through the battle. Arena is part of our beloved Ruterra universe, which is why we're adding some NPCs that should be well known to some of you. And you now get the opportunity to battle an AI host during your base, so you're always in the midst of the battle action, regardless of the round. To make Arena even more worth your while, there will be new bonuses, rewards, and augments. Plus, we're introducing Arena's very own rank system. Whether you just want to track your own team's progress or want to compare your stats to other duels, we are giving you a new platform to see your growth through the game mode. And we know that this mode can be quite long and intense. To give you a little breather on your road to victory, we've added an Oculus of Clash in the ninth round, where all the remaining teams fight together. This will give you the opportunity to win rewards and experience without losing any health. Come out of this refreshed and strengthened to finish your fiery mission. In standard mode, cooldowns are a critical aspect of gameplay and counterplay. We then broke all those rules with Earth, and now we want to try a new hybrid mode called Double Cast. Instead of the fervent, never ending spell sling of Earth, Double Cast provides specific windows where your abilities fully refresh. And so, whether you want to draw Venn diagrams with a Moon result, or let Jinx send double rockets, we hope this mode will help you discover new OP combos on the Rift. And don't worry, we did not forget about the auto attack reliant champions either. And so after a number of attacks, your next auto will count as a double hit, applying all the effects of your auto attacks twice. And these are the two major game modes that we are excited about for next patch. We cannot wait for the mayhem you will create with them on the Rift. New year, new season. This patch will kick off Rank Season 12. And with it comes a new reward. Xin Zhao will be added to your Rank Store. And as a special little treat to make Legendary Queue even more exciting, watch this space for renewed rewards coming your way. I hope you're hungry for the new Wild Passes. First up, we have a little zesty addition. Foo Spirits Vagar. This feisty Yordle expects you to take him seriously, even as he wields his big, candied fruit skewer. He will bring darkness upon you with a little zing zing. The second wall pass is a bit on the snappy side, so watch your fingers. Black Frost Renekton is dumping the hot sands of Shirima for the chili company of the Black Frost Army. Don't be iced out and come get your wall passes. I know we got really excited to see Aurelian Soul in this patch preview, but he isn't the only dragon upon us. It's Lunar New Year, and this Lunar Year marks the return of the dragon, bringing with it plenty of fiery goodies, so keep your red envelopes open for the Dragon Lantern skins and much more. And as this patch moves on, we have even more to celebrate. More dragons? Oh no, David. But equally as exciting, watch out for Cupid throwing Valentine specials your way. Welcome the new year, we got new skins to share. Whether you're harboring a totally healthy dragon obsession like yours truly, or see your higher calling more in the wild wild west, these skins have you covered. Oh, David, how are you feeling? You think you got your little dragon problem under control? 
Yeah, man, I, I am so over dragons. Oh, you're so pretty. It might take a while, but that's everything for this patch. We hope you have a blast with our new game modes, thrilling events, and also, did I mention dragons? Okay, okay, we're done. Back to the shadows with you. Thanks for watching, and see you on the Rift.